In the last programme, we saw a vet enjoying her hen night. Bingo in downtown crew. Carl having a good time on his stag night in London. And Brent, a bit of time. Us three, single, by <laughs> And we shared Yvette's joy as she saw the wedding dress she is going to wear in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so lovely. It's gorgeous. The day of the big trip has arrived. The Beatty family are preparing to leave for Las Vegas, where Carl and Yvette are going to renew their wedding vows. As usual, things aren't running to plan. Fifteen minutes before we're supposed to leave. Yvette has now just decided to pack. Oh, my good grief. It's a nice hat. Yvette frets over some headgear that gets everyone involved. I can't find my hat because somebody's moved it. Oh, you're choking. It was just put nicely on top, wasn't it? And now my sun hat has just disappeared. I've got to find that. How many pairs of shoes do you think William's got here? <laughs> <laughs> He's worse than me with shoes. Look, let's show everybody. Look at the shoes. The shoes. 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 Oh no. Oh no. We'll get another one. Shoes. 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 <laughs> Crying out loud. Oh, no. Skateboarding them and they get ruined. Right, there's one for going out, there's one for driving, this one for skateboarding, this one for best. A typical argument breaks out about packing. See, look, that's full. It's not for your plenty of room. It's full. You could have taken a toilet bag. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I've got to fill it up with stuff from Vegas. I've got, I've got, I've only got about three days worth of stuff there. Yeah. One, of, one of the biggest uh, disagreements we have here, and I think it's the. The one thing that, that, that rocks our marriage is suitcases. Hey, you were the one who, who, who went all funny about separate suitcases. You put, you, put, you put borders between our suitcase regime. Carl and I love each other so much that most of the time we share a suitcase. You know, my knickers fit nicely into his underpants and so on. But this time, I had to pack so much stuff that there was no room for Carl's stuff. And um, he was upset about that. He was upset that we weren't sharing knicker space. So I had to tell him, look, love, you've got to have your own suitcase. <clears throat> well, all of a sudden, it was this big hole, you know. Secretly, he was just upset because he thought that I was spurning his love. That's all it was. <sighs> Everything I get at the moment seems to disappear. I mean, then I buy. Get just lost apart and disappear. From, apart from my love. Very nice. Right, there's this. Oh, arse! The bickering about packing continues downstairs in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, you the one went on separate bags, not yes, me. I, know, but I need a room. Why is it? Women actually suppose. Why, why are you upset about the set plastic bag thing? I'm not. Yes, of course I've got a bra on. Oh. Um, I've got a DVD there. Are you somewhere. having room for something to eat, Carl? Uh, we're leaving in five minutes. I know, but I have to eat something. Couldn't we have thought that, like, 25 minutes ago, maybe? I did. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> what? Getting on my nerves now. What are you doing? I'm putting it away. Why? Because I'm, there's no point in eating anything. Why? There isn't. <laughs> now I'm not going to eat. I'm hungry, but I'm not going to eat because you mentioned it. I'm not going to eat. No, I want you to feel bad. That's. Do you want to take that? That's all the ice in is. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that for? Cops. Boobies. Get off. Boobies. Oh, look at you. Yvette's mum Angela arrives to travel with the family. You're right. T-shirt. Let me see. Oh wow! It's a big, nice big one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Right, your suitcase. Oh, it's a heavy one. It's in my basket. Maybe. Oh, Christ, I crushed in a basket. Never mind. 